keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, Chris here again from racingbetdata.com. Uh, here to give you an overview of another new feature we've added. Um, so we're bombarding you of late, but these are great new uh, tools. Um, and most of these have been requested by users. And this one has stemmed from the popularity of the pre-race download file, uh, the slicer pivot um, selection function that we added in. We've now been requesting, we knew it was coming. We've now been requested to add that into the results and odds download file. And that's exactly what we've done. So I'm gonna talk you through um, the process, very similar the way it works to the pre-race download file. But for anybody who's not seen that, this video is gonna show you how uh, you can use the filter selections and the slicer method to hone in on certain criteria horses that have already run during the course of the day. So navigate to the results and odds download file as we've already done. This gives you an update of um, when the latest file was, um, was run. Now this runs automatically on the hour, every hour throughout the day between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m but I've forced this through just so we can get a decent amount of races um, in, the, um, in the criteria that I can review. And then simply click the download file option. Okay, so the file is now downloaded and opened up and you're presented with the results tab, uh, which is exactly the same as it was before. We've not changed or added or moved any of the, um, the columns in there. I know how sensitive it can be for people with automation. So we've kept those. There's nothing that's been amended. We've in fact actually stripped out a load of guff that was in the background on some of this, um, some of these files. Um, and that's actually brought the file size down a little bit. So they should be quicker to download and less resource heavy when you're, when you're saving them. Um, so there is, an, there is already a video on uh, the results and odds um, file itself, but I'll just give you a brief overview of what's in here. So we have the on uh, in play um, prices to the far right hand side here. So starting here where you have the, the last traded price before the market suspended. Um, and that goes right through to the, um, the first traded price when the market turned in play. Um, and we also have the odds movements before the off. So you have um, at the time stamped intervals here that the last price traded as well as the official Betfair SP uh, in there. So this does feed in from, from the Betfair API. Um, not 100% reliable, a bit like the Betfair platform itself. So if there is missing data or data is delayed getting through, uh, please don't shout at us. It's, uh, it's just equally as frustrating for us outside of our circle of influence. Um, it, you know, it is pretty good. It is pretty reliable 99% of the time, but there is the odd occasion where um, a market doesn't turn in play or the feed doesn't come through correctly. So uh, bear with us uh, and bear with Betfair if there is uh, any of those ex examples or instances that do occur from time to time. So aside from the, the odds, um, we have some uh, basic data regarding the results of the race. So you've obviously got to consider here that we are looking at results and races that have happened, uh, whereas with the pre-race download file, um, you're perhaps selecting criteria and looking for scenarios to apply to race, uh, race or races that are going to happen. Um, whereas here, it said the race has already happened, it's a lag measure, um, you're, you're after eventing if you like, but still equally useful um, when we get to the filters and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, so yeah, details of the basic details of the race, the horse um, details, trainer, jockey, uh, those sort of things. So added in this filters tab. Uh, so clicking on the uh, tab itself, we'll open this up and there shouldn't be any need for you to do any refreshing um, like you have to at the moment with the pre-race download file. It should automatically load up for you. Um, so we haven't got any filters applied and you can see that so far today there's been 108 selections. So unfiltered, that's basically 108 horses have run today. Uh, 13 winners, so that means there's been 13 races um, and it gives you the win percentage, 12 just over 12.04 um, and profit loss if you had backed all of those horses uh, with a one pound or one unit stake uh, level back bet to win. Okay, um, over to the right hand side, we have the summary table. Okay, and if we scroll to the bottom of that, we've added in this little yellow box here. So double click for yellow for output. Now, I think this will only work in versions of Excel 2016 and above. Um, 
it may be that earlier versions you get a full data set unfiltered um, so you may need to make sure you're running 2016 or later to get that um, and I'm going to give you an example of that in a minute when I've done some filtering so yeah summary um, summary table there so to the filters and slices themselves again we've grouped these into four similar categories and then to the right you have the horse trainer and jockey so let's get into the data let's say we wanted to look at the uh, horses that have run from stall one today uh, you can see that there's seven selections that met that criteria and none of them have won and that covers two tracks so Lingfield and Pontefract so far and scrolling over to the right you can see that summary output of those seven runners uh, that have come out of stall one and here we go so if we double click on this yellow box as indicated here this should open up a new tab for you with those seven runners with more detail behind it uh, we've added in this same feature to the um, pre-race download file as well um, so it'll work in exactly the same way it's a quick way to get your selections and then if you want to pad out the data um, you can do so so double click here and you may need to adjust the column widths and that brings up those seven horses uh, and all the detail about them so those were the ones that have come out of stall one as i said today so you can see that on the column y there uh, and it gives a detail of those horses the results um, and their um, finishing position. We've got the odds as well in here as well and the Betfair rank. So as I said, that just gives you a little bit more information than you get on the summary tab. And you can do as many of those as you want. So let's clear, um, let's clear that down and let's pick a horse. Um, let's pick Broadhaven. So we'll just filter to Broadhaven and you don't only expect one output for the horse. And again, let's double click on the um, the yellow box there and this will bring up the detail for the horse Broadhaven and you can scroll across and look through and as you can see here that the horse's odds dropped quite considerably uh, in play uh, sorry pre-off um, in the market and that these are last the late late last traded price okay so that came down considerably before the off but you can see the horse actually finished ninth it went off as a 72 joint favorite with the industry SP um, and it was also the second favorite um, using the Betfair SP of 4.5. So you can see it again, more detail on that selection. Um, clear off the, the horse filter. So you can filter by trainer, by jockey, um, you know, any of these filters, however you want to slice and dice the data, we can look at the favorites. So we're looking at the Betfair SP favorite 14 selections. Um, of which only five won, and that gives that uh, win percentage of just over a third. Um, and to a flat stake, that's uh, a one pound or one pound ninety-five using industry SP uh, loss so far today. Okay, so like I said, these are here and designed uh, to help and assist and make things quicker and easier for you. So I really hope that you enjoy the file.